Um, that's too hot. Hassan's girlfriend. That's I got girlfriend. Fry some she she uh, FaceTime. She was like, "Can you help me fry these chick fry this chicken?" I said, "Where your mom at?" First of all, mom went home. <laughs> her mama just left her. I said, "Okay." I said, "Well, what are you seasoning with?" She seasoned. So I she said, gonna burn the house down. The ancestors. No, she like she was like, I never seasoned chicken. I've never done. I said, Oh Lord Jesus. Okay, baby. So I walked her through all that. And then I How had her I who, said, is this, uh, who is this un, untrained fucking chick? She must have a oh, Lord gosh. She's from Delaware. Who okay. is this un this unearthed female? So, First of all, how were you eighteen and living in Atlanta and can't fry chicken? She's never seasoned chicken. She's never fried chicken. She's from Delaware, so she's never had to, I guess. I guess her mom always did it. I don't know. <laughs> then they don't fry chicken in Delaware? I don't know. I don't know. But wait, this ain't the kicker though. So it was chicken strips. Yeah, Delaware. There was chicken strips. I said, okay, well, wait, make sure you season your flour. She said, ain't no flour. I said, excuse me? What what are you doing? You just well, gonna put them in, in the skillet. Her mama told her no flour. She just she put them in the grease. Where the fuck is her mama from? <laughs> Delaware. I said, I said, oh, y'all trying to do it the healthy way. I said, you ain't gonna use no nothing, just just seasoning and drop it in the grease. She said, yeah. She told us not to. She said I'm she didn't f- want any flour or she didn't want it crispy like that. I said, are you cutting this up? What are you doing with this? She's like, we're just gonna eat it and have a salad next uh, salad with it. I said, okay. I said, well, who put? I said, do you have cool. grease in the pan in the skillet? She's like, yeah. My mom put that in there for me already. I said, oh, okay. So I okay. walked her through how to season the food and to fry it and make sure that it didn't burn, first of all, and to make sure that it was done in the middle. That helps. Um, we're going to transition right out of that because this has hit me real quick, real fast. We're going to talk about double standards when dating outside of your race because this sounds like Kassan has got the whitest black woman I've ever seen in my goddamn life, and I've been searching <laughs> for one. Um, <laughs> now I've been searching. Or are you gonna continue to get popped? And Take it to the bike. Long sleeve shirt, something. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Anyway, we are gonna talk about this uh this dating outside of your race thing because I feel like also it's a double standard there. Um, because everybody applauded Serena Williams when she married that billionaire white dude, and if I show up with Becky, well, if I show up with Becky. I'm pretty sure Sarita dog walking her and Kiana gonna make her cry. So <laughs> you can see by that look on the face, I'm not allowed. But there's been a few that I've, mm, mm, if but only. So yeah. Why? Can anybody explain to me why? I I'm, don't. I'm well, I, don't a- I don't personally have a double standard against it. I mean, I don't date to outside of my race because I have a type. Mm-hmm. And you have to be a certain skin color for me to fuck with you because your penis is too wet. I ain't messing with you. It's just not attractive. So we're just not going to work. We're not doing turkey necks and chicken gizzards out here at we're all. We're not. We're just not. Uh. Oh my God. I would like to thank everybody for joining the episode. I don't know what episode this is, but we're going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> gonna have the proud boys at my front fucking door. But all right. But I feel like the issue that I have, I don't have an issue with black men dating white women. Mm-hmm. The issue for me comes into play when they get a white woman and all of a sudden it's black women ain't shit. So because you're with a white woman, you have to put down black women. If if the white woman is your choice, then that's your yeah. choice, and then I'm okay with that. But when you get to that side of town, now all of a sudden black women ain't shit, and you have to degrade black women. And I don't know. So I, for me, I feel like that's where the issue is. And even vice versa, if a black, if black woman wants to date a white man, that's fine. Yeah. But you don't have to go around degrading black men because you are now with right. Well, you know. I, so I, I think so. Yeah. That's where the issue comes with me, and I and from what I see my perspective, my reality, I see that more with black men who date white women. But my experience is more with men. So I'm not right. saying that women don't do it, but in my reality, I see it more with, you know, black men. Oh, I date white women because black women have an attitude. Or I date white women because black women ain't shit. Or, you know, so 
I don't know if it's because they've come from the black community and now they have this white woman, which like you said, in the black community is a double standard. Right. So now to justify it and to out talk yourself from the double standard you've been conditioned to know, you have to downgrade the women in your community that could be available or that would be available. So I feel like a lot of black men do it to kind of unfuck their own minds of what they've been conditioned to. You know, she can't use your comb, don't bring her home kind of thing. Well, you there now. So right. to undo all the years that you've heard that, it's like, well, this is why I did it. Not I did it because I like her. She's a decent human. This is my life, my choice. It's, oh, I did it because black women don't do this. Or I did it because black women do that. So for me, that's where, that's why, that's when it bothers me. You know, love who you love. I could care less, you know. But don't downgrade the women or the men in your community because you've chosen to go outside. It doesn't make them not shit. Because you right. don't want them. They could just not be your type. And that's okay because everybody likes who they like. I asked Sarita, but we didn't get a chance to air that part because we also had to make fun of a short nigga. And it never made the light of day. So I'm going to ask you again publicly about your preferences about stepping outside of your race. Um, personally, I, again, like he's, I have a preference. Um, right. And... I have never dated outside of my race. Um, and I don't have, like, I don't think that it's a problem dating outside of your, I mean, I have family members who are not black because they've dated outside of the race and that's who they've married. Not a problem. Love them dearly. But my thing is stay respectful at all times. If that's who you love and that's who you want to be with, fine. But like Kiana said, don't downgrade or disrespect someone or the the party that you're not. So if you're a male and you're dating a white woman, don't dis disregard, downgrade, or disrespect black women because, mm -hmm. sir, your mother's a black woman. So you like you exactly. know what I'm saying? Like that is a whole race of women that you are are disrespecting just because this is who you love. Now, if there was one black or a couple black women or whatever who did you dirty and you decided that you wanted to go, that you wanted to, to, to date someone outside of your race and you found love there, fine. But please understand that not all women are like that. Not all black women are like that and not all black men are like that. So that was, that was an experience that you had, but don't take that experience and put it on the whole, uh, the whole race. Cause that's not, that's not what it is because there are some dope um, black women and some dope black men and they can come together and have some dope love. Um, but my preference is uh, I like a chocolate man. Uh, I, I like a, I need some chocolate in my life. Have I dated non chocolate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen my ex husband? He ain't chocolate. Um, but I have. But my preference is chocolate. Um, tall. Got a little chunk to him, like a chunky man. You know, See, a little salt pepper in the beard. Double standard. The, the body images. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I like, like, I'm not saying that I, now I have dated men that aren't chunky, chunky. Like I have dated skinny dudes. I have dated middle and I've dated the big boys. So you, know, you all right over there? My phone fell. I had to make sure I, I had to save it. Oh, uh, so I'm yeah, like I've, I've dated, I've dated them like, you know, so I don't have a problem with that. But me personally, I would like to continue and marry a black man because also I feel like there's just some things that in the black community and as a black couple you would understand a little bit better than there's you a very would key point there, if yeah. your spouse is not of that same race like yeah. I have seen it to where your spouse is not the same race and you're trying to have a conversation with them and they just don't understand and so now it's a whole different fight because you're trying to get your point across and get them to understand what you're feeling. But now you got to go back and explain why you feel how you feel because of what has happened to our ancestors and stuff like that. Like, I ain't got time to be doing all that extra. Like, I need to be able to come in. And if I say, Becky got on my fucking nerves, you understand what I'm talking about and where this conversation is finna go. And same with, and I feel like that's the same with if my man comes home and he says something to me. I can understand, like, I won't have to sit there and try to figure out what the fuck is he talking about? 
like I can have we'll have be able to have a conversation and he can understand like my lady understands what I'm talking about she's here for me she's got my back like that type of situation that's me though Asylum, you are far too quiet and it unnerves me, which means <laughs> it's we'll, we'll, we'll about what's going to happen next. Exactly. You were sitting there far too quiet during this yeah, conversation. Bro. So a little, a little, well, a little uneasy right about now. So uh, first and foremost, I agree with both ladies. I too have a preference. Um, does that mean I would never date outside my race? I don't know. I've never explored the option because I have a preference. Um, with that being said, other people that can do it or want to do it, or that's their preference, that's perfectly fine. But again, I agree with the ladies in saying, do not get, do not feel like dating outside of your sisters, your mother, your daughters makes you better than our community. Because at the end of the day, whether you stay with her, or you don't, um, you're going to be looked at as a nigga nonetheless, um, for example, with Tiger Woods, I don't give a fuck how many, um, shout out to Tiger. <laughs> I don't care how many people outside his race he dated when it was time to pull the motherfucking plug. He was a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And so please don't make us feel like we're not good enough or that you've arrived by choosing another race because like, that's not it. To be completely honest, most cultures don't date outside of their culture. Um, if you're Jewish, you generally date Jewish. If you're Hispanic, you date Hispanic. If you're Italian, whatever the, the hell, um, you date within your race and it's so that they can keep their community strong and big and grow. So we really need to be focused on that instead of everybody trying to get somewhere else because everybody else has figured it out. All right. We've got so many different answers to this question. Um, one, there's a story that Richard Pryor's wife tells that is the most apt story about when he talks about culture. She, cause she talks about the first time she ever used nigga at a party and his wife was white and how he had to pull her to the side. And he was like, look up at the sky, which one of these stars is a nigga? And she was like, I fucked up. Cause she didn't understand. So I get that. That's, I think that's a very real component of it, but you know, if, for people that don't know me, y'all know me well. But y'all know that my best friend and my brother been with me forever is Caucasian as shit. I call him right now and tell him we got to go dig a hole. Right. Like, two or one. Like, that's my motherfucking, that's my brother. But I also have my big brother who is, you know, he, he is me. So I stand at the crossroads of like looking at it and being around both sides and having it explained to me multiple ways. I come down to the conclusion that, you know, I'm not going to lump all females together, but females do female shit. It don't matter what color y'all are. Y'all do female shit. There's crazy. I know, man, I know, I know a white Katie who is just as bad as a, as a just as bad as a black, as a white Becky. I, they do, at the end of the day, it's a person. And so they all do it like that. Like, I know, I know black girls that are loyal. I know black girls that ain't loyal. I know a white girl that, Good, bad, or indifferent. You tell her it's time to ride, she riding. But I don't so I don't I look at it from the standpoint of it, you know, you show me a you show me a pussy that ain't pink, I'll be like, I don't discriminate against that one. But <laughs> but I mean but I mean as far as dating inside and inside and outside of my race, like I said, I stand I stand on both sides in line because, like I said, I've been places where it's been like, oh, there's far more white people than me. I've also been places, also kicked it all of my life where it's like, oh, black girl, black girl, black girl, can't bring a white girl home. <laughs> Obviously, y'all haven't realized who I am. I don't care about your opinion. You know I'll bring this white girl to the cookout. And we'll deal with the aftermath after the party. You clearly haven't been paying too much attention to me. Like literally, I was you know well, I was I mean, paired up with a white girl is, that was. Huh? I said all we're gonna do is is get at her and see how and see how she rocks. Exactly. So hang, as soon hang. as she, she can't, bitch, you got to go. Exactly. As soon as she learned to stand on her feet, you gonna be like, oh, we ain't tripping off of her. But so it, you know, I also wouldn't. I would not bring the squarest white girl I could find around. I don't even think I want that in my life. Like this is just too much work. <laughs> 
Like, so she would be she would be adjacent to the community, but there are still some things, like Sarita said, there are some things that are gonna be like, man, you don't get it. But eh, it is what it is. I don't I am not tripping off with any of that. But yeah, I've had some man, had some close calls. But I also think because when you think about like black people in America, and I've said this many a times, like we think about black people in America, it's like Oh, I'm only gonna mess with black men because of, I keep the black culture. I was like, you do realize at one point in time we were breeding stock. So to say I'm gonna keep my bloodline pure, your bloodline ain't never been pure. <laughs> your fourth generation American ain't no telling what's in your bloodline at this point. Mm-hmm. So I also think that I always go to the, I always go to that point where people are like, oh well, you know, it just means you just watering down. The fuck are you talking about? You know, I got into an argument with a chick whose parents were from North Carolina. I was like, your parents, your parents came from where slaves, like, came from. What the, what the fuck makes you think? Your dad is light-skinned as shit and has straight hair. So Master was in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Somebody was. Like, that shit don't curl. Like, he can just comb his shit, like, regularly. Dry, wet, indifferent. But it yeah, no. is... I, so I don't... I, that's, why I, that's really one of the ways I got over it, where I was like, what am I talking about? If yeah. you find that person that makes you feel feel like that's your person, or you good in life, man, do what you do. And that goes for everything. So... But I, yeah, you know, I've been over that. My mom hit me with the coldest line ever. She was like, "I don't want no zebra grandbabies." I was like, "What the fuck?" That was the best line in history. I don't care what nobody said. She hit me oh, with that shit on the car ride right home. I was done. All because, all because, fucking Colin's wedding. All because uh, the the bridesmaid I was paired up with, me and her were cool. She texted me and asked me about going out. And I was in the car with my mom when it happened. And she was like, all I know is I don't want no zebra grandbabies. What in the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> like, yeah, damn. got racist as shit in this car real quick. We, I never forget it. Driving up the street past McDonald's, right to the right D street. I, what the fuck is going? Yeah. But yeah, that's so me you, up. Wait, have you had more... More uh, interracial date or inter- interracial. Those are the fucking uh, those are the oddities in my life. Those that shit. The, the Lord Himself has been like, we we gonna cut the shit cut this shit short because there has always been something that like intervenes in that in that situation. Like it don't matter. Somebody it always cuts that shit short. But like I've always, I mean, if we're gonna start with a preference, my list starts at black women. Like let's not get it fucked up. It starts at black women, but as somebody explained to me, if you walk into a party and there's 20 females, and you know, you can realistically get at 20 females, you know, it's, you go break it down from all the races. It's five black girls. It's, you know, or 20, yeah, five black girls, five white girls, five light, five light, five Latin, and then five, whatever. He goes, well, one of them is there, is there, but has a man. The second one is there, but she ain't entertaining shit. The third one is in there pretending she either bisexual or gay. So now you down to two of everybody. So now you at eight from 20. And so now you telling me you're going to kick the other six out because you only want these two black girls. So you're going to take your, you're going to risk your whole night off of these two. And he was like, it just don't even make sense. He was like, mathematically it don't make sense. He was like, these are, the, these are the females that are going to feel you because every female don't feel you. And it's just what it is, what it is. It is what it is. But these ones are. So you're going to get rid of over half of the chicks that are feeling feeling you because you won't go outside of what your mama told you. So you setting yourself up for a miserable existence because you're going to constantly be looking in a pool of people that don't want you. The odds are against you. So I got hit with that and I was like, yeah, well, that's just fucking real. That's just science. So yeah. that's- facts. Didn't think about yeah. it. True. Yeah. That's how he hit me with it. And I was like, and from that one conversation, that day forward, I was like, 
I've just, I personally have not seen anybody of another race that makes me feel that mm, 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 you fine yet. Yeah. I, and I got it. close to it with a Middle Eastern dude because, you know, they kind of mm-hmm. all olive. And then to be completely honest, because it's just me, he fucked it up by sending me pictures of his asshole. Because why you're laid up like that? Dead ass. Wait a fucking minute. Little. Oh. Uh, say what? Know, yeah, I was over my home back house at the time. When this motherfucker sent me the pictures, and I'm showing them pictures, talking about this is no Lisa and dude, he fine as fuck. I turn the thing around, and she go to hit the goddamn message, and this nigga spread eagle asshole all in the camera. What the fuck right here made you think? Oh, what? Like who? Who took that picture? Mm-hmm. Like when I look at me, yeah, that's it, my that's my question. Who took this photo? Who? I think he took it himself because he, he took it himself. How? That part in the mirror. From, Long ass marble counter. He was very well off trying to tell me all about how his family owned this hookah and uh, belly dancing lounge and all this other shit. So I was chopping it up with him. I didn't told my homegirls, ew, you know, it ain't really my shit, but ew, he looked like he was like, yes, oh. Next so thing I said, the camera up on the counter, Red Eagle. He set the let's, camera up on the counter. Back. His let's legs was pulled back. back. With the oh. phone. Yes. Oh, okay. Because okay, I was like, so oh, I was thinking something told it. Me, okay, we were really on the same page. I thought, I'm like, I thought this was all four. the butt cheeks and the phone. Oh right. no, he, but, he had his legs up there like that. Oh, okay, okay. That you can take a picture of by yourself. Yeah. But I thought he had. I thought he was on all fours, like prop the camera up on the counter or something, and set the timer. And then, oh, okay, his, yeah, either yeah, way yeah. though, either way, so, yeah, either way, either right. way. I have. Legs was way the fuck back here, ass open, a camera out. Then he was smacking his ass. I said, "Yo, and that's what I fucking say." Have you ever thought about? Uh, no, have you no, ever thought about? Have you no, ever seen Fifty no, Shades of Grey? No, have you ever no. thought about being dominated? They don't fuck you up. I think he might want to be. I think he. I think that's the this road is, he was headed down. See if he would be all right with it. No, but then you don't want me to lick your ass. Like that's not my shit. I have texture issues. This has been the most what the fuck episode. This is not where this shit was supposed to go. <laughs> this is not the point of this conversation. <laughs> but I got to do my thing. However, I'm not looking at niggas asshole. I I I, I oh my god. I oh, god. oh shit. <laughs> he can eat mine. If he don't have dex issues, but I'm not eating no asshole shit. <laughs> because if you pull your motherfucking knees back like that in my face, I'm going to fuck you up because that's a little too easy. And I don't trust Ooh. this. Oh, God. Yo, I've got, like, part of the problem I'm having right now is I'm pretty sure I strained something in my chest this morning at the gym and <laughs> Melissa is trying to fucking kill me. This shit is fucking hurting right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! It is. I'm laughing and I'm crying, but I promise you, it's also from the fucking pain. Like, does that feel masculine yeah. to you to like hold the back of your motherfucking knees like you' about to give birth and scoot your motherfucking legs back? Like, and then you want me to go and lick your ass? Stop! <laughs> the 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 you, you, you lose all your you lose all your cool points at that point. Like that shit. Now you've turned into me, and I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not eating no nigga ass. I'm sorry. I have texture issues. <laughs> I don't even know where to go anymore. You want me to be this better way. as fucking dick and playing with your balls and licking your balls and your asshole? Like that's two. That's fine. First of all, from clarity from a, from a clarity standpoint, my ass is in no fly zone. Don't do shit near my ass. I don't give a fuck. Oh, All of my chivalry will go out of the window if you ever. I'm going to treat you like every nigga I have ever fought in life. But wait, did you do it to your girl? Fuck no. Absolutely uh, the fuck not. So I'm not eating ass period. either. I will. No. Fuck. Conolingus all day. Got you. 
I'm not licking no ass. Don't lick my ass. We ain't, it's not even on the table. Just leave it. I mean, here's the thing, though. It, it, for me, it, it's been partner's preference. I can do without it. I mean, but if that's your shit, go for it. I'm with Marcus yeah. on this. Don't one. look for it. Don't don't no. don't do it. Uh, don't no. don't ask me to do it back. But if that's your shit, I mean, yeah. Whole time I'm like, eh, that nigga nasty for real. But no, absolutely the fuck, absolutely the no. fuck not. I'm with Marcus. I will kick you dead, your motherfucking forehead. Don't ask. You ain't, away from. you ain't got to. No, we you not be yeah, receiving, I and I will not be asking for it. You ain't got to worry married, about that. Just, shit. I was like, oh. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. You know why? Again. Because I always feel like that shit tickles. Now, suppose I get a little chuckle in my spirit and I fart in your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Wait. (laughs) Wait. (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I might literally be dying. I literally might be bleeding into my chest right now. This, oh, my God. Oh, God. Real well, shit. That's what makes me insecure about it. I'm an overthinker. So, like, that's not really my preference. I can do without it. But, I mean, enter at your own risk as far as sticking your tongue around my ass because I feel like that shit could go left. I'm not putting this shit on YouTube. This shit is going straight to Spotify. This is the only way I can put this shit out. So, um, this won't be on YouTube. I don't even know if I'm putting put this shit out on Instagram at this point. Um, oh, what the fuck? You don't want nobody fighting your mouth. Yeah, no. Um, I don't. I don't. First of all, I don't want you to fart while I'm eating your pussy. Fuck farting while I'm no. Wait, you against got, no, farts uh. too? What? You against coochie farts too? Coochie farts. I don't. Why would you be coochie farting while I'm eating? Your, why would you be queefing? Like I'm no, so, no, I mean, no. If it I, makes I, it, if, if air is escaping, air is escaping. I understand that concept. I'm, there's yeah, things, I'm not, I understand that. how a vacuum works. I'm not worried about that shit. Okay, gotcha. I was just wondering. No, I, yes. It's it's a sealed, confined space until I decide to enter. I'm going to, I have to breathe, so air is going to go in that motherfucker. So, yeah, no, I'm, no. I'm, I was, yeah, I was a science major. Yeah, we're good. Um, I understand all that. I don't even have a follow-up because this shit has gone all right. Oh, good. Let's take it to the top. Do you do it before, during, or after? All do of you the above. Do you do it before, during, or after? All of the above. Before, during, and after? Well, not after, after. Like, I need, we got to hose that motherfucker down real quick. I was just there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, once we, once everything has been wiped clean and the service is dry, and that service is semi-dry, if I can get horny again in the next 10, I might want to go again. I need to need to buy myself some time. So before and during is cool. After maybe okay. not so much because you already went in there and shot the club up. But yeah, exactly. Free- I didn't that motherfucker out. The crime scene is hot. Well, I gotta I gotta be cool. Right, my um, man, but you see, I've been I, look. You, Marcus yeah. for president at least twice this week. Well, it's last twice. Yeah, I forgot. Oh that. yeah, Ma, but yeah, I agree for the other one. Yeah, 